chuckles. What do you call a sandwich that's been run over by a car? Fast food? Laughs. Okay, okay, buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey through the world of roadkill sandwiches. Yes, you heard that right. Starting at number five, we find the squashed squirrel sub. Picture this. A lightly toasted sub roll filled with juicy, tender squirrel meat, slow cooked to perfection after its unfortunate run-in with a four-wheeler. Add a dash of barbecue sauce, a sprinkling of coleslaw, and you've got a sandwich that's more gourmet than gross. Who knew flattened fauna could taste so good? Moving on to number four, we have the pancaked pheasant panini. This little bird might have flown into the wrong place at the wrong time, but its misfortune is our culinary gain. Grilled to perfection on a panini press, the pheasant's delicate flavor pairs wonderfully with a sharp cheddar and a tangy cranberry relish. It's a roadkill revelation. Now we're revving up to number three, the hit and run hare hoagie. Lean, gamey hare meat, slow cooked and shredded, then piled high on a fresh hoagie roll. Top it off with some spicy jalapeno relish and you've got a sandwich that'll make you forget all about its origins on the open road. Speeding into the number two spot, we have the dashed deer deli sandwich. Venison is a delicacy in many places, and when it comes pre-tenderized by a passing vehicle, it's even better. Served on rye with a smear of whole grain mustard and a slice of Swiss, it's a sandwich that's truly worth stopping for. And finally, we've reached our destination, the number one roadkill sandwich, the Raccoon Road Rage Reuben. The raccoon's rich, robust meat lends itself perfectly to this classic sandwich. Layered with sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and a hearty slathering of Russian dressing, it's a sandwich that's as wild as the animal it came from. So, there you have it, folks. From squashed squirrels to raccoon road rage, we've taken a trip down a culinary road less traveled. Remember, the next time you see a critter cross the highway, don't think of it as a traffic hazard. Think of it as a potential sandwich filling. Laughs. But seriously, don't try this at home, folks. Leave the roadkill recipes to the professionals. As always, drive safe, eat well, and keep your sense of humor. Until next time.